Good morning. It is a beautiful Sunday morning. We got rain overnight, so I don't have to water. Yay, I'm happy. Thought it was about time for an update on my green stalks. So this is my latest addition. This is the Glacial Blue. It is filling out nicely, looking good. There were a couple of um, mishaps that I have had to start over, like bean seeds that didn't germinate, but that's fine because that just means now it'll be succession planted. But you can see this one has tons of gorgeous bush beans growing in there. This is some Swiss chard that I moved out of the basement that is doing fantastic. And this is actually like three plants in this one and it's doing great. More chard up here. We have some peppers, peppers here. There's some lettuce just starting to come up right there. And there's some radishes. I put French breakfast radishes all through. And at the bottom we have um, leeks. And then in some of these pockets behind the beans and behind the radishes, you'll see carrots coming up. Um, so yeah, that one's doing great. Let's go and look at the rest of them. Now, if you follow me on Facebook, you may recall that just about three weeks ago, my pepper tower fell over in a storm. It has recovered nicely and it is doing great. But look at this, look at this jungle. Wow, I love it, I really love it. It's hard to do this in the morning when the sun is facing this direction, so hopefully you can see okay. But let's look at the green stalks, like I said. So here's one of my leaves full of all kinds of things. Um, there are some mustards, there are some uh, collards, there are some kale, there's some chard. This is some uh, pink beauty amaranth. We have some more collards down here. This is lovich. There's nasturtiums at the bottom. Here's some tatsoi, which I need to start harvesting. Um, there's a lot to harvest. This is a Little Prince eggplant, which has one ready to go. I'm going to do some harvesting today. We have some things going to seed, but as you can see, it is full and happy. There's some basil here. This is some bolting spinach, which there still has some good leaves on it. But I'll be cleaning this up probably today. Red vein sorrel. And here is its sister over here. <laughs> Matching uh, leaf, seven tier leaf. Uh, lots more kale, gorgeous varieties of kale. That's purple moon kale. I think this is red Russian kale. Um, some bolting mustard here. There is some feathered frills kale over here. We have some um, purple oryx, some more nasturtiums at the bottom. There's some celery. I can't remember if this is the, it's not the Chinese pink. It's another variety from Baker Creek. I'll have to look it up. And some more chard. And this one is doing fantastic. We go over here. We have a jungle. There's more nasturtiums at the bottom. This tower is half peppers. So there's 15 pepper plants. And as you can see, they have absolutely exploded. In the other pockets, there are leeks and onions. And um, let's look at some of these peppers. This is the Mad Hatter. Hard to see here, but they have such an interesting shape. We have a fish pepper coming along here. That one was a late addition. It germinated a lot slower than all my other peppers, but it'll get there. Super chili. Oh, look, that one's orange. Hey, little beauty. So that means this is probably a pumpkin spice jalapeno. Uh, it's not tagged. Why is it not tagged? But there were some that were duplicate plants, and if I put them in here on the same tier, I put a tag in one and not the other, because I figured I'd know what it is. Then we have a lot of serrano. These serrano, this serrano plant up here has just exploded. This thing is enormous and loaded. And there's like three of those in that tower. Oh, this one is, what is this? Flamingo peppers. Beautiful, huh? Really beautiful. So, as you can see, peppers love the green stalk. They really do. Um, this one down at the bottom, Caribbean Red Hot. I'm in very interested in that one. I had a Scotch bonnet, the seedling didn't make it. So I wanna see how that works out as a substitute. Oh, over here we have my Reapers. Look at that. Beautiful reapers. 
Okay, and then over here, we have my strawberry tower that I really need to clean up. Um, there are runners everywhere. I mean, like everywhere. I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do with them yet. There's new flower, which means new berries coming. There's some little rotted ones. I have gotten lots of berries off of here so far. But what I noticed is when we started getting tons and tons and tons of rain, the plants did not do well. See, you can see right here, the berries, before they even get to uh, maturity, they start to kind of rot out. So I'm hoping that was from the rain and nothing else because the first couple sets were perfect, like absolutely perfect. And then that started happening. So I need to get all of these runners off so the plants can redirect their energy. And it's probably time to give them another feeding and then see how they do. And then over here, we have the piece de resistance, as everyone says, <laughs> my uh, big pepper tower. So this is 30 pepper plants, one plant in every pocket. And this is the one that fell over and has recovered. Um, the two plants that took the most damage were here, Jimmy Nardello, the whole top broke off. Um, and I did stick cutting somewhere else. But as you can see, this one, even though it's short and small, it had some leaves left. It has recovered nicely and is now full of small blooms just full and here's one nice big pepper on there I might oh there's an, there's two I might take these two off a little early so that the plant can focus a little more on recovering and those other flowers and then uh, there was one more that broke off really badly I don't remember but I see a couple of things I missed like see here this one obviously snapped no problem but this thing is loaded the peppers are doing fantastic. Look at this. Got some beauties in here. Some beauties down here. Beauties over here. This is a red banana pepper. It takes a long time for banana peppers to get to that point, but there we go. Over here we have, I think this is fushimi. Um, more fushimi here. There's lots of jalapenos. Here's some gorgeous red cayenne. So this is part of what I'll be doing today. It's harvesting a whole bunch of peppers. Ooh, here's one. Oh, this was a Lesia, I think is how you pronounce it. L-E-S-Y-A. Look at that, it's got blossom end rot. So I need to get that one off of there. <clears throat> oh, there's another one. Let's see if this one's okay. This one's perfect. That one is perfect. I'm excited about those. They look really cool. Then we have these beauties. Wow, is this, looks like Marconi. And then I have another Marconi, let's find it. Oh, here's Padron. We have a red Padron ready to go. Got some purple bell peppers up there. But somewhere there are some absolutely huge Marconi peppers. More purple bells, here we go. Look at this. Let's see if I can even get it in the shot. Look how huge that is. And the one next to it is starting to ripen. So I am so excited. If you have been thinking about getting a green stalk, stop thinking about it and just do it. I have six now. Um, green stalk gifted me one back in 2021. That was this one here, that color. I love them so much. I bought four more over the next two years and they just recently gifted me with the blue one over there. If I had more room that I wanted to put them, I would definitely add more. As you see, you can grow a lot in a small footprint. 30 pepper plants in two feet of space here, 30 strawberry plants, a mix of peppers and other things, tons of leafy greens, so listen, here's what's going on. They have decided to discontinue their terracotta color, which is the um, like tan. I don't have that one. I'll put a picture here on the screen. You can get all of those for 35% off right now. So if you like that color, if you've been thinking about getting a green stock, do it. If you stack my code on top of the sale, my code is LTG10, you can get 
the original size, which is the five tier original with the 10 inch pockets for only $86. Yes, that's right, I said $86. There is absolutely no reason to pass that up. So you get that, you can get your terracotta colored accessories as well, like the lid, um, great plane, great. And if you're gonna buy one, I suggest you get the ultimate spinner base if you're going to put it here or on your patio, you can add wheels if you need to roll it. I might add wheels to the one on my patio later. I have some wheels that came off my original mover. But I wasn't thinking about it when I set it up. Didn't think I would need to roll it. And now I think I will. So anyway, do it. Go to greenstockgarden.com. Look for the 35% off sale on the terracotta. Use my code LTG0. I'm sorry, LTG10 and get your first green stock. There will be more coming up on my garden. <laughs> the massive growth that you see here, the grass that won't stop coming up in my mulch, the weeds, all of the volunteer plants, and more. So please like and subscribe if you don't mind and pass it on to your friend. Have a great day.